everybody. My name is Chelsea. Welcome to today's virtual design class. Um, today we are going to be making this lovely arrangement. Um, I'm going to teach you step by step on how to uh, achieve that arrangement. And yeah, so we can go ahead and get started. Um, first you're going to need your oasis block. This is a full oasis block, but we're going to cut it into a third. So you should notice that there are going to be three line, or two lines and then two dashes in the center. You're going to cut on the line on the edge there. Just make a clean slice and you can pull it apart and put it in your base vertically. Like so. And then you're going to take some water and fill it up about a little under halfway. And we're just going to let it soak there. It needs to absorb all the water first. Don't push it down or anything like that. Because it'll do it by itself. And then you're going to put half of a pack of your sugar, your uh, over sugar that we provided you. And let that mix in with the water. And you're going to put the rest of it in an extra cup of water out here. But we're going to fill up the rest of the way later. I'm just going to let that sit over there. Now before it's, we get started and let it soak everything, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what flowers we're going to be using today. This is our hydrangea. This is the first thing we're going to be putting in so have that ready to go. You should have two sunflowers, two stems of mums, three assorted colors of roses, two stems of alstroemeria, and five stems of carnations. Okay. I'm going to shift this just a little bit so you can get the rest of the water in there. You'll notice that the water does, you'll see it's soaking it up. It'll turn dark green as it absorbs the rest of the water. And it looks like that's about as far as it's going to go for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in the rest of my water here. should just about be ready to go. So first, you're going to take your hydrangea, and you're going to cut it to be a little bit about this length, and you want to keep as many leaves on there as you possibly can without it actually going into the oasis. So for example, these leaves here are going to go into our oasis, so we're going to take those off so they don't uh, rot up the stem, and you're going to put it on the edge here. I like to put it on a corner just so it is easier to hang over the side, like so. You can kind of fluff it out a little bit if yours is a little bit smaller, that's okay. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and take our sunflowers here. And you can put them in wherever you would like, because you're gonna fill in the rest of the spaces later. I'm gonna put mine on this edge here, my um, sun, uh, <laughs> of the bowl, next to the hydrangea. And I'm going to make this one a little bit taller and put it on the opposite side. Now you notice that some sunflowers have a bend to them. That's very typical of a sunflower. Some of them bend much farther than others. If yours has more of a bend, you're going to put it in at an angle, kind of going like in this way, just a little bit more. That way it'll kind of look more up and out at you instead of looking down. Next up, I'm going to take my roses. We're going by size here. Um, so, since the sunflowers and the hydrangea cover the most space, we put those in first, and now we're going to do the same thing with our roses. You can, again, put these wherever you like, but I'm going to put mine in sort of a triangle just to kind of spread them out evenly across the arrangement. So, I'm going to put that one at the bottom. Again, kind of make this one a little bit taller. Clean off any petals that you see that might be a little not to your liking. And I'm going to put this one kind of in between my two sunflowers here. Alright. And they're spread out nicely. I like their placement. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to put my Alstroemeria in next. The same thing with the Alstroemeria. You can cut it the length that you want it. Clean off any leaves that are going to be going into the oasis. You don't want that. And you're just going to fill up any major holes that you see and spread them out a little bit more evenly. I'm only starting with two 
um, because later we can fill up any holes that we see as needed. But you can go ahead and put in all of your stems if you would like to. It's totally up to you. Alright, so I kind of put my more on the bottom because that's where the most space was for me. But again, you can put yours wherever you like. Next, I'm going to put in my carnations. Um, the carnations, they do have like a little bit of a bell shape that are attached to their stem there. And if you want them to be a little bit more fluffy, all you do is just kind of take your carnation at the very part, at the end of the bell where the petals meet the stem, and just kind of gently squeeze it and kind of roll it in between your fingers like that. And it'll kind of help fluff out your carnation a little bit more and let you get more mileage out of it. Alright, so when you cut it, you can cut your carnations, again, whatever length you like, but I like to cut mine on these little knuckles here. It kind of helps them go into the oasis easier and not break as easily. These carnation stems are pretty, they're pretty fragile. Right, again, just fill up any major holes you see, kind of spread them out a little bit more evenly. I'm just going to go through and place them where I think they should go. major thicker stem and you can just break those off and I would lay them out first before you actually put any of them in your arrangement. This way you'll be able to see which ones are shorter than the others and how many talls you actually have. If you don't have that many tall ones you can keep them on the main stem and just cut the stem like that that way you can use them at whatever height you would like. I'm going to do the same thing for my second stem here. So what you're going to do with your uh, mums is you'll notice that when you take them off, they're going to be a little frayed and you're going to bumpy at the end. So you're just going to kind of cut them off like that so that they have an angled cut. I'm just going to push them in and again fill up any holes that you see. The uh, goal of this is to try to hide the oasis. You don't want to be able to see what we're using to fold up your flowers here.